Okay. Armament, and these are all level four. I'm the AK, the goal AK. That's good shooting. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are going to be going to the range and we are going to be shooting some plates. Body armor. These here are RMA armament, and these are our level four. These are the 1165s. If you guys have been in the market looking for something and want to pick up some plates, but you don't know which route to go, hopefully we can help you out today on this episode. I was having a conversation with a buddy of mine the other day, and he goes, you know, I'm very interested in buying body armor um, just to have at the house, because he's got a, a, a plate carrier where, you know, you put these in there and they're supposed to protect your body here. You're mostly where your, your main vitals are at. This is what that's for. So if you're looking to have uh, some plate carriers uh, at home and you want to, you know, make sure that you find what you're looking for, this is kind of what that episode's going to be about. And we got to talking and he was like, man, I've always seen these plates online, but can they withstand the ammunition that they talked about, right? And obviously they can't, right? I mean, RMA is not going to put out a product and say, you know, it does. And then, you know, you go out to the range or, or you you know, you buy this, you're out somewhere and, you know, you take a shot and it doesn't perform the way that it should. They're not going to do that. Right. And, and, but he's a very skeptical buyer, uh, as a lot of people are nowadays, you know, you want to make sure that what you're paying for, it's worth it. It's reliable and it's supposed to do what it's going to do. So I said, well, how about this? Let me go buy a few and this is kind of what we did we got two of these i said i'll buy some ballistic um dummies we'll put them out we'll put this in front of it and we'll take some shots through it and see how much it can actually withhold and stand if we can break through it too we're gonna get after it like we're gonna put a lot of shots through this but if you don't know <clears throat> a level four can take an AK round and it will stop it. It can take a 308 round as well and it can take a 556. But we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna start off with shooting it with a nine mil. You know, I'm gonna bring a bunch of different guns and we're gonna take some shots at it and see when it stops and what the breaking point of this is. Um, just so that you guys can see it, that he can know and then that I can know because I'm very interested to see what it's gonna do. Now, you may be telling yourself, well, you should know, right? You were in the military. Like, you know, you, you know what these things do. Well, yes and no. When I was in the military, I never got shot on my plates. I just got blown up. So I never knew what they actually did and if they were able to stop something. And so we're going to find out today. Uh, aren't we, Cash? We're going to find out today uh, what we can and can't shoot with this. And uh, hopefully, you know, if you're looking into buying a set of plates and you're interested in RMA, this is a level four. And what's pretty cool about it is that almost everything, I think everything in this plate is made here in the US of A. So if that doesn't give you, you know, the satisfaction that you're looking for, I don't know what will. So let's go out to the range. Let's take these things out. Let's put some rounds through it and see what's what it can stop. Right. And then uh, hopefully that'll make uh a life a little bit easier for you if you're actually looking into getting a pair of these so let's get after it let's go to the range let's take it out and uh let's put some shots through it i'm excited to do this it's it's fun i've never done this so <laughs> let's go time baby all right guys here we go rma armament level four plate we got our buddy steve here we're gonna place this little plate right in front of him and see if we can stop uh we're gonna start with a nine mil first, then we're gonna jump into a 5.56, five, then we're gonna jump into a, uh, I don't know, 308, and then a 7.62 by 39. And obviously we're gonna try to make some different shot placements around the plate and see how it does and how uh, much it'll stop and how much damage our buddy Steve here is gonna receive because he's protected by RMA Armament uh, level four plate here. But let's get to it. All right, y'all, here we go. First shot. We're about, we're about, uh, I want to say a good five yards away. So let's take that first shot. Dude, <laughs> that 
that nine mil didn't even like nothing. Look at this, like nothing in the back, in the front. Look at that. I mean, look, dude. There, look at that. It's the 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 freaking uh, brass of the bullet. Look at that. <laughs> that's awesome. That's that was a nine mil and like nothing. And we were like at five yards away, like super close. Dang, that's that's awesome. Wow. Now we're gonna we're gonna start moving up in calibers. I just wanted to see what that would do. And so now we have a five five six right here. This is a scar. This is the baby scar. Is what I like to call it. But here we go. Five five six through a level four plate. <laughs> I, I literally put that round just almost next to that nine mil because I wanted to see if the integrity of, of the plate was going to change or not. But it moved very, very little. Yeah, look at that. Dude, nothing in the back. Our boy's still good. Look at that. I mean... There's a little bit of damage in the front. I mean, it cracked the plate, but it stopped. Wow. All right, all right. All right, heck yeah, that's awesome. Let's move on to the, uh, let's move up to the 308 and see what it does with the 308. All right, you guys, here we go, 308. <laughs> let's see what you got, plate. Woo! <laughs> It knocked it down, but did it get through is the question. Let's go check. <laughs> I mean, it, it cracked the plate, right? And that's something that you're gonna look for. But I mean, 308, look at the hole of the 308. It's a pretty big hole. It's poking a little bit. So if you were wearing this and you get hit by a 308 right there, it might knock the wind out of you, but you're gonna be alive. Like, you're gonna you're gonna be hurting. You're gonna have a bruise, but it's definitely gonna save your life. I mean, no doubt about it. <laughs> I mean, look at this. It where it hit, it cut him open a little bit. Um, you know, just a little flesh wound, nothing crazy, but it definitely stopped it. I mean, it stopped the crap out of that dude. That's crazy. These level four plates are no joke, y'all. Like, no joke at all. That is, that is awesome. Man, let's move on to uh, 762 by 39. Let's go grab our gold AK. All right, here we have our 762 by 39. The AK, the gold AK. Let's see if this is gonna get through. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to go see that. Let's check that out. Now keep in mind too, we're, we're not that like far away. We're pretty close. Dude, nothing. Look at that. Nothing back here. Like no, no penetration. Look at that. Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. That uh, that's the 762 by 39 right there, and it it didn't go through. Dang. That is that is awesome. You know what I think we need to do? I think we need to load up the uh, 762 by 39, the AK, the 308, and the 556, and we need to take three shots of each to see how many shots it's gonna take to actually have something poke out through the back. Because I mean, again, yes, this bulge back here, but it didn't go through, so it's gonna save you. So if you take a nine mil, a 308, and a 762 by 39, an AK round, at the same time, you're fine. You're gonna survive. So I just wanna see now what, how much this thing can endure. Like how many rounds would it take for actually to crack and have something poking out in the back? So far, that's crazy. I'm, 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 that's awesome. Like, that's what body armor should do, right? Like, that's what it's designed for and that's what it's meant for. Like, that is so freaking awesome. Let's go load up a bunch of rounds and just light up into this thing. 
I got three rounds in here. Let's light it up and see what it does. We're gonna have to go pick it up. <laughs> Still nothing. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. So wild. Here we go. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. I'm gonna go pick it up. I'm not even gonna look at it. We're gonna load some more rounds and then we're gonna keep going. We got three, 308 rounds loaded up. Here we go. <laughs> this is actually turned out to be a pretty cool video. A pretty fun video, I should say. <laughs> All right. He finally broke it. But, I mean, what do you think? Do you guys consider this broken? Like, it went through? Because I stacked both of those rounds right here. Ah, uh, yeah, it kind of went through, but not really. Like, it's just disassembled the whole thing, but I wouldn't consider it like, I don't know. I don't know. That's... Timmy's fine. Timmy's doing all right. No, nothing other than some broken teeth. No, not even, they're still there. Come on, Timmy, you can do it. We got one more gun. But man, dude, that is a, uh, that's crazy. Like, you can take that many rounds and still keep going. Y'all, this is, this is insane. This is super cool. I didn't think this plate was gonna be like that tough, you know? I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but here's a lot of the ceramic that's inside and it's holding up really, really well. That's crazy. That's freaking crazy. Guys, sorry if I'm gasping for air. It is almost 100 out here in Texas and I'm already pretty soaking wet. <laughs> All right, let's get the baby scar loaded up. And let's do the thing. I'm, I'm shooting into it from the sides too, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm ripping into this thing. Oh, Timmy's losing his head. No, Timmy. <laughs> Bro, this thing is just like me. Like, battle proven, all jacked up, but still works. Let's finish the rest of this mag on this freaking crazy plate. Oh, I guess that was the last one. <laughs> That's crazy, y'all. This is definitely a crispy approved plate. I mean, look at this thing. Dang, dude. <laughs> I mean, dang. It's still, I mean, still stopping the 5.56, five, like not many rounds are getting through. And I mean, look at that, it's still holding. I think we should keep shooting it. Let's keep shooting it. All right, I don't know how many rounds I loaded, to be honest with you, I just started going on it, but let's go ham on this plate. Oops, sorry, Timmy. <laughs> Not sorry. <laughs> oh man, poor Timmy. He got shot in the head. I mean, <laughs> look at that. Look at this. This thing is about falling apart. Like no joke, this thing's falling apart. And look at that, it stopped. That 5.56 right there. Look at that. 
that some of the uh, the debris from it, from the actual bullet, <laughs> some shrapnel, like it's there's shrapnel all in there where it stopped it. That is, that's crazy, y'all. That's crazy. Look at that thing. Ah, Timmy did. Tim, Timmy didn't do so well. I, uh, I accidentally shot him in the head because he gave me a, a shot. But you know, but I shot this thing from the sides, from the front. I mean, everything. I'm just, damn. So all I gotta say is, this thing works. I mean. They're definitely the king armor for, for a reason. Wow. Wow. All right, you guys, look at this. That's that's how it's supposed to look, right? Before a shot. And then it looks like this after, I don't even know. I don't even know how many rounds you put into this thing, but it's still holding. Like this thing can still take a couple more shots. I mean, look at that. It is crazy. It's crazy that like still, all you see back here is shrapnel. Like it's not really going through. And I shot it in places where I was like, I'm gonna try to hit that spot just because I know that's where the weakness of the uh, plate is, but nothing, nothing y'all, look at that. I mean, listen, are you gonna have bruises? Are you gonna maybe have a broken rib? Uh, I don't know. Yes, without a doubt, you're gonna, you're gonna be hurting, but you're gonna be alive. <laughs> and, and I think that's the most important thing. So if you're looking for a level four plate, RMA armament, makes a badass, freaking awesome product. Like I'm definitely gonna, uh, I wasn't planning on shooting this one, but I think I'm gonna keep it and order another one to put in my uh, car uh, plate carrier and, uh, and just keep it at home as my, uh, you know, on my backpack, my ready to go, my bugaboo, whatever you call it. Um, this is gonna definitely be in there. So if you're looking for a level four plate, not very heavy either, because that definitely matters. I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference uh, from you know, adding two extra pounds to taking two pounds away. It makes a huge difference in the long run. So yeah, this is such a pretty cool product. All right, guys, there it is. We are done here. RMA, freaking awesome product. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. We're gonna get out of the heat because it's like 100 out here and I literally, I'm soaking wet. Like, I'm not even kidding. I am soaking wet. We're gonna get back in the AC, head home and uh, enjoy the rest of the day. But I hope you guys uh, are doing the same. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor, like this freaking video, drop a comment and make sure you hit that notification so that you know when we're dropping videos. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you. I'll see you guys next week. Until Chris, until then, Crispy on. See, I can't even talk. It's so hot. <sighs> oh, and before demo, it gets mad at me again. If you want to buy any of my merch, I'm going to put the link down below. All you got to do is go to Bunking. Uh, I love, see, I can't speak. He's going to hate me for that one, too. Bunker Branding. Type in Crispy, and you'll see all my T-shirts, patches, uh, stickers. There's a whole lot of cool stuff out there. So if you want to support the channel, go ahead on over there and get yourself a cool t-shirt. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I'll see you next week. What do you do when you're not at the range? I love rubbing and touching my meat. Call me a sound that's better than this.